Hi guys, how are you? Hopefully everybody's doing great. The first time I did a video on Sir Padraig, I, <laughs> I had forgotten to use him in a brutal or hard team, so I was only left with the key on normal. <laughs> So I kind of just showcased him in my normal Hydra team. And, you know, I had a lot of fun because it was just like him and all of my nukers. It was like Leo and Hefrek and all this stuff. So that was super, super, so fun. So I did a video on that, but I've been meaning to, you know, put him in a quote unquote serious team, you know, because you can't really be showcasing stuff on normal. So I wanted to put him in the more serious team and see how it all goes. So I put him in my hard team because I genuinely, I don't really know if there's a spot for him in my brutal team. Kind of leaning toward no, because yeah, you know, you just, you need too much. You need black buffs, you need provoke, you need HP burn, you need damage, you need all this stuff. So I kind of don't really see a spot for him there, but uh, that can be tested another day. I did test him in my hard team. So this is my hard team. It's Tila Gourmain, HP Burn, Hex. She places continuous heal. She's got kind of like all kinds of little utility in addition to her HP Burn damage. Taurus, no comment. Don't need to say anything. Gwendolyn, of course, we've got decreased speed, increased accuracy. Leech, I feel like I'm forgetting things. Yeah, the, she has a ton in her kit. De decreased speed is the main one, but the rest of her kit's really good. And we can also extend debuffs on the A1, which is not to be underestimated. Molly tankered, you know, revive, provoke, mainly the provoke. Um, well, no, I shouldn't say that. Why did I say that? Jeez, I was just like, sorry, Molly. No, <laughs> yeah, so revive, provoke. Um, her passive, you know, gives us boosts our turn meter. So yeah, super useful champion. Ugo, of course, I did a little showcase on Ugo recently. The block buffs, the heal, the decreased defense. Amazing kit. Um, and then, so here's Padraig. I swapped out. Normally, I have this as Mithrala. And to be 100% honest about Mithrala in this team, I genuinely only have her in the team because I needed more buffs for Taurus. Because if you look at this team, where are the buffs? Uh, Tila will place continuous heal, and that is like it. That is, uh, you know, Molly places reflect damage on herself. But yeah, I just, I didn't have any buffs, so the, the big nuke wasn't really doing any damage. So yeah, genuinely, I was just like, wow, Mithrala Lifebane places lots of buffs. And that was basically her function in the team. Tila actually has Hex, so Mithrala Hex, not necessary. So I was like, okay, you know, Padraig, he's a cleanser. He places buffs like this can definitely go in the Mithrala slot. So I put him in and definitely Im impressed with the results. It was for sure an upgrade. I'm not saying Mithrala's bad champ or anything, but, you know, for my intents and purposes, this was definitely, definitely the better choice. Um, you know, uh, so we gained the addition. We also got increased speed, which is really, really huge. You know, because if you can decrease their speed, if you can increase your own team speed, you know, we've got Molly with the little turn meter boost when she gets hit. It's, yeah, I mean, it definitely makes a big difference. And then we've got the fear head in this rotation or at least this rotation in the video, I think it just changed. I don't know if it's still in. I haven't done my Hydra this week yet, but it's always fun to see <laughs> to see what kind of hell we have, you know, in each rotation. Maybe it's my favorite one where this head's not in. That's my favorite one because I hate this guy. So hoping, fingers crossed for that one. But yeah, basically you can see everybody just kind of doing their thing here. You know, the decreased speeding, the black buffing, the decreased defense, the HP were in the hex. It's, you know, it's got everything it needs. And I do think, unfortunately, I'm not really making crazy use of his ally attack because the only person I have who's doing like significant damage in an ally attack is Taurus. And 
you know, it's just my Taurus. It's not like a Kraken Taurus. So even that, it's not, you know, it's not the most amazing damage in the entire world. So yeah, our ally attacks aren't big, but something else to consider is like the, you know, I, I did, we, we are placing some utility on our A1s. Like we've got Leech here. We've got um, the, the debuff extending is really nice because I can say, hey, you know, go, go extend the block buffs and everything on this guy. So that was kind of something I didn't think about. It was definitely nice. Um, and then the probably the best part, especially because like I just said, this is my least favorite head. I hate this guy because he just for the fact that he exists, your whole team is at like 75% HP the entire time because of the max HP loss. And it doesn't even matter. Like, I'm perma-locking him down with the Provoke, but I'm not, there's nothing I can do to stop his passive and it being annoying as heck, reducing our max HP. So, Podrick has a just full, you know, restore max HP on his ability. So, just being able to actually be, you know, there it goes. So, just being able to actually be at full HP the whole time is amazing. Um, especially because, you know, Taurus is here and he reduces his own max, P max HP as well. So literally just not having to worry about something that, in my opinion, is so annoying is super, super nice. Especially because these three are pretty chill. Oh, I'm probably like eating. I'm always eating when I'm doing Hydra. <laughs> if you ever just see... It stop. Um, train of thought lost. Oh yeah, so yeah, you can actually, okay, because yeah, so the thing about the max HP, you're at like 75 and then, you know, Wrath comes in, this guy places the weaken, you know, you got weaken, this guy comes in, you know, his passive triggers and everything and like your team just gets wiped. So just, you know, having that extra 25% HP or not extra, you know, I, it should be there in the first place, but just actually having it because if, if you don't have someone <clears throat> restoring max HP, it just gets naturally reduced and it doesn't matter that you get a little bit of it back when you kill him because he just respawns instantly and yeah, I could rant about it for hours. Maybe I will. Would you guys watch that? Just kidding, just kidding. <clears throat> I wouldn't. But yeah, definitely um, the team is... Yeah, going shockingly well. This keeps going forever. Like I said, I'm eating. I'll sit here and play some Hydra, you know. But I think, like, I kind of just got bored. At some point, I was like, okay, this can end now. And that would be desirable. <laughs> um, So at some point here, yeah, at some point it goes to auto. So it's been on auto for a while now. And it actually ended up going... All the way, keeps going, still going, still auto, I don't care anymore. I'll click on the, you know, the one that's getting devoured, but beyond that, I'm done. I'm over it. <laughs> so actually just keeps going and going and going and going. And it actually went to the turn limit, which I, I didn't really think was going to happen, I guess. I don't hit the turn limit usually on any of my Hydra runs. So it did go, oh, oh no. Yeah, so one last person, you know, they're getting eaten. We could probably save them, but you know, it's, we're done. We've reached the turns. All right. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. Oh, wait, sorry. It's actually just the end of the Hydra run. And yeah, so it actually went full on to the turn limit, you know, so like the team has no issues with survivability. We get to have our max HP. We have the increased speed. So we're, you know, going faster than them, taking more turns. We have the degree speed. Um, Tila doing like 55 mil. Taurus like 72 mil. Gwendolyn 31. Padraig, no damage from him, of course quite a bit of healing. 
Molly Tankard, you know, obviously not going to be our damager, but, you know, a lot of control and support. And then Ugo. So, yeah, that's it. That's my second team. Um, and, oh, yes, uh, normally this is like a, I don't know, I would say maybe like a 110 million team. Like, it could do more than that, but I'd really have to try, and that's not preferred, so. let Yeah, let's go on the lower end, you know. This is like a 110, 115 type of team, so. Yeah, definitely um, awesome, big improvement. Love being able to add increased speed. Having my max HP is the dream. And everything else he brings. Very, very cool. Ally attack, you know, added bonus. Um, I... It's, it's always hard to say, especially because you only get so many keys per week. Like, is this the ideal lineup for this? Do I have somebody better I should be using in any of these spots? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> um, and, you know, and it's just hard to say because it's like, you know, when you play for an hour, you just take the score. You don't want to play it again. So can't really test this a lot just due to, like, time constraints and life and stuff. But... I don't know. Yeah, so maybe maybe somebody else could be better. I'm not really sure. And then I've showed this in another video, but this is just the build if you were curious. I went for Relentless because, you know, in my mind, I was like... I mean, Relentless is just... this. There's nobody that this set isn't good on because, you know, obviously anybody, if they're using their abilities more often, it's a good thing. So you don't need to use the set by any means. It's just sort of what I came up with, and then, you know, also in my, you know, <laughs> my one-track brain, I was like, yes, fast, good, so, um, you know, pretty fast, tanky, resistance. Uh, I didn't full flesh out the masteries yet, because it's hard, so you don't really have to. I would probably go unshakable resistance, you don't need accuracy, so I would probably come down here, and then War Master, obviously, um, you know, you're not getting a terrible lot of use out of it, so probably should just go for the extra stats. That's what I'd do. I don't know why I didn't complete it, but that's just me. I get, I get indecisive and I leave them and yeah. So <laughs> do whatever you think there. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my Padrig in a more realistic situation other than just the, the, the memeing in uh, normal Hydra. So yeah. Could try him in Brutal maybe this week. Haven't played it yet, so we'll see what happens. But I hope you guys are having a great week IRL. I hope you're doing something cool in Raid. I hope you open something in the Void 2X. I'm sure we're all, like, ignoring this Fire Knight tournament where you get uh, a rare as the prize. I understand it's for Lady Mikage, but probably ignorable <laughs> for most people. But again, thank you guys for hanging out with me and you guys take care of yourselves. Goodbye.